the most popular slasher films of all time came out during a 30-year-ish period between 1975 and 2005. Black Christmas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, Friday the 13th, My Bloody Valentine, Sleepaway Camp, Nightmare on Elm Street, April Fool's Day, Child's Play, Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Urban Legend, Ron Turn, High Tension, Behind the Mask, and Hatchet. This fact led me to thinking, what are the best slashers that have come out after this 30 year boom period? And I'm not talking sequels or remakes from existing franchises, stuff like Blumhouse's new Halloween trilogy or Scream 5 and 6. I wanted to know, what are the best original slashers that have come out since 2010? In order to find my answer, I enlisted some help from Reddit over on r slash horror. I posted a thread and got over 190 comments offering up slasher suggestions, which I turned into a comprehensive list. From there, I eliminated some and then ranked all the slashers, leaving me with a clean top 25 list I will now share in this video. Before I get into my rankings, here are a few honorable mentions. First, the movies that would have made the list, but just missed the cutoff since they came out in 2009. The Collector, Orphan, Laid to Rest, and my super psycho sweet 16. As well, here are some movies that I love and wanted to include, but didn't quite think counted as pure slashers. Ready or Not, Hush, Don't Breathe, and Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. All right, now starting my list at number 25. Number 25, Fender Bender. Number 24, Most Likely to Die. Number 23, Fear Street Part One. Number 22, You Might Be the Killer. Number 21, Megan. Number 20, Detention. Number 19, The Ranger. Number 18, Happy Death Day. Number 17, Christmas Bloody Christmas. Number 16, Freaky. Number 15, Stage Fright. Number 14, Hellfest. Number 13, Sick. Number 12, Tragedy Girls. Number 11, Girl House. Number 10, Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Number 9, Dream Home. Number 8, Christy. Number 7, Haunt. Number 6, Terrifier. Number 5, The Final Girls. Number 4, X. Number 3, You're Next. Number two, Malignant, and last, at number one, Cabin in the Woods. Those are, in my opinion, the 25 best original slashers that have come out since 2010. Disagree with any of my choices? Was Happy Death Day too low? Was Haunt too high? Let me know down in the comments. As well in the comments, let me know if you disagree with my exclusion of movies like Don't Breathe or Ready or Not, or if you disagree with my inclusion of a potential home invasion film in your next, or Giallo in Malignant. I feel pretty good about my top 25 modern slasher list, but I'd love to hear some alternate opinions from all of you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. Twice a week I post horror reviews, commentaries, and short recommendations for horror movies you should watch on Netflix and other streaming services. Thank you for checking out my list of the top 25 modern slashers. I'll see you all back next month where I'll be ranking the top 50 tightest jean shorts of the 1980s.